Recording in progress. Hello everyone. Today we are going to check a new feature in Go High Level. That is how to use products in the payment element in forms. Go High Level has introduced a new feature in forms. Using this new feature, users can now easily add products to the forms with effective customization and layout options. So what is new in this feature? Payment type. Go High Levelers have the option to either sell a product or collect custom amount from the forms. Users can now select products, adding description and images, and can also the desired layouts. Different variants of a product can be selected. As per inventory management, quality of a product can be respected. Users can now add tax calculation when someone purchases the product. So how to use this new feature? You need to log into your sub account after logging into your agency account and then navigate to sites. From sites, you need to navigate to forms. I'm in that particular screen. So this is how the screen will look. Once you click on the forms, you need to click on form builder. And then you need to click on add form. In this, you need to click on start from scratch. This is how a new form will look. On the top left corner, you have add form element. On this plus symbol, you need to click and then scroll down. And then you'll find the payment option. You need to click and then drop. So here it's shown as no products added yet. So you need to click on this. There will be a right panel which will be opened. Here you have an option to toggle that is live mode or a test mode. If this is on, the live mode will be on. Right now I'm trying in the test mode. So you can add products. In this, you can select a product from whatever products you have in your catalog. And then you have an option to select the description as well as image. If you want, you can turn off this or otherwise you can select one or select both and then click on add. So the description and the image both will be seen here. And you can add multiple products. And then once these are added, you can add in your uh, card details here. So you have an option to change the settings here. See the products, uh, the details are given, the image is given, and you can add up to 20 products here. Once this is done, on the right-hand top corner, you, need, you have an option to change the styles and option. You click on this, and here you can change the theme styles and options of the images and how these are done. So right now I'm not changing anything because I'm happy with whatever is there. And then once you scroll down here on the right panel, you have an option to change how the uh, layout settings are there. Right now they are one below the other, like a single column. If you click on this two column, they will come besides each other. If I have three images, I can click on three columns and another image will be shown here. So once the layout settings is done, and then you can also check this live and test mode if you want, and you can add in your details here. So if you want to go for live mode, you need to ensure that your Stripe account also is in the live mode. And then you need to fill in your card details here. And then you need to save and then preview the products in action. So once all this is done, you need to know what exactly is the uh, new thing in this particular feature. Users can now add up to 20 products and you have three uh, layout options as you have seen. 
These forms can be added in the funnels and they can also be used as one step order from, from unlimited customization and tracking payments. Once the form is submitted, the payment amount, order ID and payment status are included in the submission details. On clicking order ID, users will be able to get order details. These details can also be exported via export options. Email notifications. These reflect the status and amount of the payment. Once the customer receives the email notification, they, uh, they will get the status and amount of the payment. And the other option is workflow trigger. Payment receive trigger can be used with forms as source. So these new features help go high levelers in completing the products and payments easily. So the products in the payment element in the forms can be easily done using this new feature. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.